let's be real yes it's your boy the one piece shark back here again uh like as y'all know i got rid of less tying up so i can make more videos for let's be real so um we have been on a little bit of hiatus most of us all of us were actually out of town uh most of us were in dallas for tales uh birthday so definitely had a fun field weekend uh, we'll be back this saturday and probably talking about a couple of topics we i'm, I'm about to touch on tonight um but without further ado uh before we get started remember to follow me on twitter at the one underscore p shark and of course sub subscribe to the uh, youtube channel let's be real podcast and the actual um uh, on any podcast network for all our episodes but these little small videos will just be on youtube so be sure to uh get us on uh youtube we're now subscribers away from 100 so let's go and get it on up there but without further ado i had to get a couple of these topics as y'all already know i'm a Titans fan aj brown Back in the news again, talking about the Titans. Uh, <laughs> first, though, shout out to Debo Samuel. He got paid, uh, demanded a trade from the 49ers early in the offseason. And um, the 49ers played hardball with him pretty much. And a couple months later, now it's July, he gets uh, paid. So shout out to Debo. Thank uh, 58 mil guaranteed, 73 and a half mil total. And all the receivers from that, um, well, the top receivers from that draft class, um, uh, all just got recently got paid. So Terry McLaurin from the Washington Commanders and uh DK Metcalf for the Seahawks. So shout out to them, shout out to everyone getting paid. But that with everyone officially getting paid, it led to AJ Brown with another tweet. Um, mostly all offseason been more so Titans fans getting at him and him responding. This time it seemed like he was taking a shot at the Titans fans. You know, training camp is starting now. Um uh, he's with the Eagles, he's been practicing with the Eagles. The Titans, we traded him. We got Traylon Burks back. You think once you think all sides moved on, uh, he just had to bring something back out. I mean, literally the day before another practice with his new team. Um, of course, you know, if, if you have been sleeping on a rock, you saw his tweet said basically all four of us got the same contract, and I'm the only one traded. Yeah, keep believing it was me. Anywho, go birds, carry on. Hashtag carry on. So, first up, I have no ill will towards a, a, AJ Brown. Um, actually, I still have his jersey, uh, Ty's jersey. Don't know what to do with it, but I still have it. <laughs> uh, can't really do much with it, but it can't really get rid of because, uh, just the cost of everything. He was, uh, one of my favorite players, uh, favorite wide receiver. Um, uh, don't really care too much. I mean, like I said, he's not on my favorite team no more. He, whatever story you believe, he forced his way out, whatever. The Titans just play hardball, or the Titans didn't play hardball, he just gave up on the I, I, like I wrote in my article, I reposted it yesterday, uh, the cost of doing business. It's the cost of doing business. Uh, Titans could held on. Most of the time, they do sign their players. And I wrote in that article three years in a row. We signed Kevin Byer, Derrick Henry, and Taylor Lewan, not in that order. But uh, some, some, I think it was Taylor Lewan, Kevin Byer, and then Derrick Henry, back to back to back all seasons in July. They all got their contract extensions. Um, seemed like AJ Brown played, kind of played a little bit hardball, like he's wanted, he wanted his money right away early in the off season. Um, and therefore, Titans just said, J Rob said, you know, he don't like to deal with. Is he is, is he a DB? Is he not? I, like I said, I don't know. I'm, I'm not in the negotiation rooms. Uh, <laughs> uh, two different stories came out. AJ Brown said it wasn't his fault. Uh, Titans came out and said, "Hey, he basically forced a trade." He said they did trade him to the team he wanted to go to. If he did ask for a trade, because Jalen Hurts is his best friend and that's who he's playing with now. So obviously they did trade him to a place he did want to go to if he wanted to be out. Um, so you know, when it all boiled down to it, none of this matters. He's now on Titans number. It, it's been four months. <laughs> and this happened back in April <laughs> in the draft. <laughs> um, literally, training camp started. Uh, who we traded, we replaced him with trading Burks. He's been looking well at training camp. AJ Brown's been doing whatever with the Eagles. Like, why, why is this coming back up? So it's kind of like both, like both uh Titans fans and AJ Brown. Like, I, <laughs> I want to say let it go, but I know y'all not. <laughs> but it's just time to let this uh it really is time to let this like go. Like we played the Eagles in December. Bring this all back up then when on the field. We'll see him on the field in Philadelphia. Like uh until then, like we got trading Burks. We move forward, trades happen. AJ Brown, uh, can't tell him what to do his own Twitter account. Um, honestly, like me being in Memphis and being a Memphis Grizzly fan. I just get tired of job and rent tweeting some like this is just a new generation and everything. Just I is what it is, that's what they're gonna do. Um, ain't no problem with it. They just putting out their feelings and just like any uh regular people like us do. So a hey, shout out to him. Um, like I said, like I said, back when he did get traded, um, I wish him the best in Philly. Titans fans, um, like, y'all can do what y'all do, but or the rest of y'all, but hey, 
we got some exciting times coming up. Trading Burst is looking good so far in training camp. Uh, we do got a bright future ahead um, that we know. Of course, national media don't notice, don't notice us, but um, that's what we got coming. So salute to, salute to us. Salute to him. Uh, he did get paid. All the receivers got paid. In the end, that's always a good thing. So till next time, man, we're moving on from that subject. Now, Deshaun Watson. So we will probably so this upcoming Saturday uh, episode is upcoming Saturday. We're starting our team's outlook. So you know, me, I'm a Titans fan. Tub is a Panthers fan. Skyler and Tre- uh yeah, Skyler and Trevor are uh, Steelers fans, and she is a Cowboys fan. So we're gonna do a team outlook episode leading up to the season for all our teams. This Saturday, we will start with the Titans. AJ Brown probably, I mean, he'll probably mention the question from the guys uh, with me and uh, we have a guest coming on. So he'll probably mention the question, but he won't be in the team's outlook. <laughs> uh, so he might be brought back up. But definitely Deshaun Watson, before we get into the team's outlook and our division of uh, breakdowns, Deshaun Watson will be brought up. So as for Deshaun Watson, as y'all know, he um, – the ruling finally came. He got six games. I did see a lot of things on Twitter where everybody blaming the NFL when the NFL did. So he goes, here's my problem. The NFL didn't make this decision, right? It was a judge who ruled this, who gave him six games. The NFL has three days to appeal. My problem, with, I think, with everybody's complaints is the fact that everyone's already comparing and blaming the NFL and saying what the NFL is doing when the NFL didn't even make the ruling. For all reports, the NFL wanted him to get a year, and the judge gave him six games. Hey, ain't nothing the NFL can do about that except appeal, right? Uh, so what I say is I understand the NFL has dropped the ball in the past a lot, uh, a lot of suspensions, a lot of, like, in like you know, inaccuracies or, like, you know, Zeke Elliott gets suspended six games for pretty much nothing. He same stuff. Um, I forgot what it was with him with the women's second. I don't think it was necessarily sexual assault. Someone probably uh, – Correct me on it, but it's he got six games and he probably shouldn't got six games. Ray Rice only got one or two games before the video came out. Him actually hitting his uh hitting his then fiance, now wife, in the elevator. Then he got a whole season. It's pretty much black, not black ball, but that was in his career. Um Calvin really got a whole year for gambling. I bet why he wasn't playing, but you still gambling on the game you playing. <laughs> so I don't know how people are still defending that one. But hey, each situation is different. Um, this one they decided to go with a judge, which I think was um, it was a wise decision on their part. I saw Stephen A. Smith agreeing with that one. Um, I think that was a fine decision on their part to at least go with that option. Um, so I just say give it time, man. Give it time for the appeal process. Me, like I said, we're gonna talk about this more Saturday on our true thoughts. By the end, NFL should if they appeal, and once again, we'll talk about this Saturday. If they do appeal, we'll talk about it. they don't, we'll. We'll talk more in depth about this area with uh, me and the rest of the guys. So, um, so think about the Sean Watson six games. Do I think it's too short? Do I think it's too long? Hey, whatever the evidence speaks, whatever the evidence is, there was a lot of women that filed uh, lawsuits. He he was ruled not guilty in the criminal court. Hey, whatever he get, he did miss last season. albeit he didn't get suspended last year, so he still got his full paycheck. Suspension means you don't get paid. Uh, he really missed last season because he asked for a trade and he was still on the team he asked for a trade for. So um we'll just see how the how everything rolls in the next couple of days. Like I said, we'll talk more about this Saturday. I did just want to get that thought out. I did make a tweet earlier about that. Just like let the process go through a little bit, like before y'all start like <laughs> jumping the gun. Like I, I've done it before too. It's not it's not nothing against uh knock on anybody, but like the judge ruled this, it wasn't NFL. They got three days to appeal. See if they actually appeal. Now, some people say, hey, they don't think they're going to appeal. You think they will? Do you think this is a, you know, a ploy um, to just go and get done with it, wash their hands with it? We'll see. And like I said, we'll talk more about it Saturday on the actual episode. But that's all I got for, uh, like I said, just a quick video. Uh, we haven't recorded in a second. And I just wanted to get something dropped out. I uh, want to try and get some videos out when hot news uh, drops, especially like the things that we really just dropped recently. Still waiting on Kevin Durant potential trade. Uh, definitely drop a video <laughs> upon that happening if it happens at this point. Um, but with football season started back, I mean, there we, we really won't be much basketball talk unless that happens, him or Donovan Mitchell or anything big like that happening. So, uh, like I said, as always, follow me on Twitter at the one underscore P Shark. Subscribe to this Real Podcast on YouTube. And follow us on any podcast network, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple, you name it. And 
like I said, we have guests this Saturday. We start with the Titans outlook. We'll do AFC uh, South and AFC West uh, division and predictions and talk about Deshaun Watson and potentially anything else. And we will have, we have a guest this week. So be sure to check us out Saturday morning, 10 o'clock Central. And until next time, peace.